everybody. My name is Dr. Emily Valchettis, and I'm an associate professor of psychology at New York University. And I'm Usman Liakov. I'm a current graduate student in our social psychology program here at NYU. I know a lot of people who apply to our program have a, have a question about what kinds of content they should showcase or highlight in their application materials. And some people have that question because their background they might call unconventional or non-traditional. Some of their personal or professional or research experiences might not seem to lie at the heart of what social psychology is all about. But I and many of the faculty disagree. We think that there's a lot of value that these uh, maybe untraditional experiences can actually bring to the table and a lot of opportunities for preparation for successful graduate training that those provide. So I think, Usman, that, that describes in part your background, right? Abs absolutely, yes. Uh, before joining the program, I spent two years as a uh, copy editor at a news desk in Pakistan, my uh, home country. So that was my non-traditional experience. That's great. Yeah, I remember learning that about you and actually I found that really exciting. It definitely stood out because it was such a, a different experience. And what would you say it was about your time as a journalist uh, that prepared you for, for graduate study? Um, so there are two uh, elements really over here, specific elements that I can talk about. Uh, that really helped me in graduate school and that I demonstrated to the admission committee that um, uh, I had coming in from such a non-traditional background. So the first element is um, uh, writing. In graduate school, you're going to be writing papers, submitting them to journals, um, getting feedback from journal editors. Um, and it turns out that uh, a lot of the stuff that I did on the news desk, which was um, working on um, these long form features, um, editing them for clarity and making sure that the audience uh, really got what I was talking about. Um, there were lots of complex issues that we had to talk about, such as uh, governance structures within Pakistan and levels of government, um, which the audience might not necessarily understand. Uh, it's quite similar to scientific writing in that uh, sometimes your audience needs to be explained uh, some of the phenomena that you're writing about uh, in, in a very clear and precise manner. So I talked about some of that in my application and how that was a strength going into the program, given that uh, we as scientists also write um, a lot to a variety of audiences. I would agree. Yeah, when I was reading that in your application, I thought, okay, he's coming, bringing to the table uh, a background of experiences in professional writing. Of course, there's many ways to get that experience, and and you found it through through journalism. But you're exactly right that that's something that we value within the program is somebody who has experience with writing and and who can demonstrate it in whatever way they can. And for you, that was through your previous career in journalism. Another thing that we're looking for uh, is is a real understanding of um, your interests, what it is that you want to study in graduate school. And did, was there anything about your career that helped inform what you wanted to study? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and that's the second point that I alluded to earlier. So um, when I was a part of the news desk, uh, I was covering a range of issues um, that, that happened within the city. Um, so things like intergroup conflict, things like uh, uh, gender issues within, uh, uh, within politics. Um, and I was very interested generally in the topic of intergroup conflict and, um, and, and stereotyping. And uh, being on the news desk allowed me to really see those um, unfold in the real world um, and th really think about how those uh, certain things that I came across hadn't been addressed in previous literature. So I talked about um, some of the uh, uh, so, so some of the questions that arose in my mind as a non-traditional individual in my application. And I was like, wait a minute, social psychology really hasn't addressed this specific question that I encountered as a journalist. And, and, and so um, really, uh, uh, you know, use my experience to inform some of the questions that I was asking in my application. 
when we were reading that application, I and many of the faculty were really struck by how you could see these issues playing out in the real world and approach them through the lens of a journalist and, and through a scientist. And so to us, we read that as, as evidence of your real commitment to studying these issues. And we were really excited to see how you could connect the science to the real world. And, and we're excited yourself to try to solve some of these problems that you were seeing around you. Now, a lot of people also ask that question then of like, if I've had these experiences and I, and I do see the value in my previous career or seemingly um, apparently or seemingly irrelevant uh, other life or research experiences, where do I tell people about that? How do I tell the people who are reading my application materials that I do think that this has prepared me for, for graduate study in, in any particular way? How did you do it? So I really allowed this experience to um, sort of shine and speak for me in the uh, personal statement section of, of my application. It was listed on my CV, but I really wanted to connect my experience as a journalist to um, uh, preparation for graduate school. And so I included a paragraph in my a personal statement about how some of these experiences helped me. And so I explicitly stated how, as a journalist, um, I was trained in uh, copy editing and writing long form features um, for different audiences and passing down complex information into like neat packets that you present to different audiences. Um, and how that relates to the scientific enterprise. So there were just a couple of sentences on, on that, how that specific skill translates into the work of a scientist and, and how that prepared me for graduate school. Uh, similarly, I talked about uh, from this experience uh, in journalism, I talked about um, uh, intergroup conflict that I was seeing within Pakistan where people had a multiplicity of different identities. And so a lot of social psychology research um, uh, is carried out looking at only one identity. Um, whereas when I was uh, a journalist in Pakistan, I saw that sometimes in a given situation, uh, multiple aspects of an individual's identity are at play, especially in intergroup conflict. So specifically religion and uh, ethnic identity, in, in my case as a, as a journalist in Pakistan, I saw that pop out. So I explicitly made a reference to that in, in, my, in my application and said, well, look, social psychology still has some way to go to address this, this specific nuance. Um, where, where we look at multiple identities and I and, and I incorporated that into my uh, application. Well, thank you, Usman, for sharing your insights here. Hopefully other people find them useful too. All right, great. Happy, happy to share. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.